Hi boys and girls, it's so good to see you again. Today we're going to do some more math and today we're going to be working from pages 251 and 252. So if you can turn in your math packet, this is the page it looks like. It says decompose numbers. That's a big word, isn't it? All right. So once you have those pages and a pencil, let's get started. So let's start with some counting. I have my numbers 1 through 10 here. Can you count with me? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. Now I am going to show some squares to represent those numbers. So for every number, I'm going to put a square down. So let's start with 1. I have 1 square. Now to count to 2, I need to add one more. Let's keep going. I need to add one more to make 3. Now I want to show 4. How many squares will I put down? Just one more. 4, 5, Six. And if I want to make seven, how many more am I going to add? One more. And then one more for eight. Now, are my squares, am I adding more or less? I'm adding more, one more, because counting on means adding more. Let's keep going. Eight, nine, ten. So now I have 10 squares. I counted on all the way from 1 to 10. And I added one square each time. Now let's count backwards. Ready? Starting from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. And now I'm going to start with my 10 squares. I'm going to take one away each time I count down. So I start with 10 and I go to 9. So I'm going to take one away. I have one less. 10, 9, 8. I need to take one away. One less. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five. Do I have five squares? One, two, three, four, five. I do. And now I want to get to four. How many do I need to take away? One. How many do I have now? Three. Two. And one. Bye-bye. All right, now I have zero. So when I count back, I took away those squares. I took one less away when I count back. So for today, I brought a couple things. And I think you might have seen these before in your own house. So, this. Have you ever seen this before? It's a measuring cup or a measuring glass. And this one can hold one cup of water. Can you see it right there? It's kind of hard to see. There you go. One cup. There you go. So that's my measuring glass. And then, what's this? A water bottle. This can hold about two cups of water. So this one can hold one cup, and then this one can hold two cups. Which one do you think can hold more water? This one. This one can hold more water. And then today I brought... <sighs> Have you ever seen this before? This is a gallon of water. Maybe you might have a gallon of milk or your gallon of water might look a little bit different. But this can hold a lot of cups of water. So which one out of these three 
do you think can hold the most water? I think this one, you're right, the gallon of water. Which one do you think can hold the least amount of water? The smallest amount. I think this one can hold one cup of water. What do you think would happen if I tried to untwist the cap and I tried to pour this whole thing into my little measuring cup? I might spill some water on my desk, huh? So this one can hold the smallest or the least. Can you say least? Least. And this one can hold somewhere in the middle and this guy can hold the most. Can you say the most? Good job. Yesterday we counted and we put in some missing numbers and we got all the way to this number. Do you remember what that number was? 40. You got it. So today we're going to start with 40 and we're going to count on and we're going to fill in those missing numbers okay all right so we start with 40 what happens when we add just one more 40 41 good job so we have 40 41 42 43 44 45. Wow, we did a lot of numbers. Let's count that again. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, this one. I'll give you a hint. Start to the five. Fifty. Good job. Fifty. So here I have a drawing and these are my two shelves. And on one shelf I have ten apples. And these two shelves together can only hold ten apples. I can't put any more on them. So right now I have 10 on this side, and how many do I have on here? None, I zero. So I'm going to say 10 plus zero equals 10. But what happens, my kindergarten friends, if I move one apple from this shelf and I put it over here? How many apples do I have now? Nine. I have nine apples on this shelf. And how many do I have over here? One. Nine plus one is... Wow! We found two different ways to show ten. Do you think there's any more ways? What if we move some more apples? Let's move another one. We'll put this guy over here. Now how many apples do I have? Eight. I have eight apples on this shelf and how many apples do I have here? Two. Eight plus two is ten. Let's keep going. I'm gonna move another apple. Put it over here. How many do I have now? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven apples. And how many do I have on this shelf? Three. Do I still have ten apples? Should we double check? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I do. I'm going to move another apple. Let's see how many I have on this shelf. I have four. And how many do I have on this shelf? Oh, six. How many apples do you think I have all together? Ten. 
I'm going to move another apple. How many do I have here? Five. Five and five plus five is ten. I'm gonna move two apples this time. One, two. How many apples do I have now? Three. And seven. Three plus seven equals ten. Do you notice a pattern in my numbers? Let's look at these numbers right here. Let's count ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, three. What number did we skip? Can you tell me? Ten, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four. You're right. Let's look at the pattern of this number. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. What number did we skip? Six. You're right. Let's make sure that four plus six equals ten. Let's test. Does it equal 10? So how many apples do I need to have on this shelf? Four. Okay, so one, two, three, four. And I need to have six apples on this shelf. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to take one away. All right, so I have four apples here and six apples here. So let's count them all together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're right. It does equal ten. Now here I have some cookies on a shelf. Can you count how many cookies I have? If you said seven, you're right. So now I want to see if you can tell me some different ways that we could write a number sentence for seven. So right now I have seven cookies on this shelf. How many cookies do I have on this shelf? Zero. So I could say seven plus zero equals seven. Can you think of another way I could write seven? Go ahead and think about it and pause the video. What did you come up with? Here are some ideas. Maybe you said you moved one cookie to the shelf, so now you have six plus one equals seven. Maybe you moved two cookies to the shelf, and now you have five plus two equals seven. Maybe you moved three cookies to this shelf. I have four plus three equals seven. Did you move any more cookies? What if you moved all of the cookies to the other shelf? That would mean you would have zero cookies on this shelf, seven on this side, and seven. Good job. Do you remember how Mrs. and Farmer Brown were getting their sheep ready to go to the county fair? So at that same fair, there was a lady who was selling snow cones. Who likes snow cones? I do. And when they were at the fair, she was selling blue and red snow cones. So probably cherry and blueberry, right? So this lady, she sold three blueberry snow cones and four red snow cones. So let's make a picture of that. How many blueberry snow cones did she sell? Three. I'm going to say one, two, three. And then she sold four cherry snow cones. One, 
two, three, four. How many snow cones did she sell all together? What do you think? One, two, three, plus four, two, three. Three plus four equals seven. So I'm going to draw seven snow cones. She sold seven snow cones. How would we write a number sentence for this? What comes first? Three. What comes next? Plus. Four. Equals how many all together? Seven. Great job. So now let's work together on page 251. It says decompose numbers. Let's read the instructions first. Complete each addition sentence to make 10. Okay, so we know that each has to make 10. So let's look at nine plus. Let's look at the first row. Do we have nine light pink boxes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We do, we have nine pink boxes. Plus, how many purple ones in this first row do we have? Just one. One, nine plus one equals 10. Good job. Now, it says eight. Is there eight light pink boxes? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, there is. So how many purple boxes are there? There's two. Eight plus two equals 10. Now do you see how these numbers are getting smaller and the purple boxes, the number of pur purple boxes are getting bigger? Nine, eight, seven, six. What do you think these numbers are going to be? One, two, if you think three, let's see. We have seven pink boxes and we have one, two, three purple boxes. What's this last one? Six plus equals 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six purple boxes and how, or light pink boxes. And how many purple boxes do we have? One, two, three, four, four. Now, if we look to the next side, it looks like we're starting with 10. 10 equals something plus nine. Hmm, how many purple boxes in this first row? If we have nine light pink boxes, how many purple boxes do we have? One, good job. Do you notice something about this? Hmm. Let's th keep thinking. All right, 10 equals something plus eight. Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight light pink boxes in the second row. And how many purple boxes do we have? One, two, two. Let's do the next one. 10 equals blank plus seven. So let's look at the third row. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pink boxes. How many purple boxes do we have? One, two, three. Great job, let's do the last one. 10 equals blank plus six. Okay, so we have six pink boxes. How many purple boxes do we have? four. Good job. Let's keep going. It says complete the addition sentences and then you have to tell me what changed. Okay, so it says we start with five. Five pink boxes, right? 
plus something equals 10. How many purple boxes do we have? We have five. 10 equals something plus five. So we have five pink boxes, right? And we're trying to count the purple boxes. How many purple boxes do you think we have? Five, you're right. Can you tell me what changed from these pictures? The order, the order of the boxes, right? First we knew the pink boxes and we had to guess the five purple boxes, but then the purple boxes came first and then the pink boxes. Did you see the pattern? So first on this side, we said nine plus one equals 10, but then we said 10 equals one plus nine. These are the same numbers. They're just in different orders. They equal the same thing. Eight plus two equals 10, but two plus eight also equals 10. Seven plus three or three plus seven equals 10. Six plus four or Four plus six equals 10. And five plus five or five plus five equals 10. Good job. Let's turn the page. It says, draw dots to complete the model. Read the addition sentences for seven. Circle the addition sentence that matches the model. Hmm, okay. So how many dots do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, we have six. And then we have one. What's six plus one? Seven, so we need to draw seven dots here. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Which number sentence matches our picture? Six plus one equals seven. This one. Why don't you try to do the second one on your own? Pause the video and try on your own and then push play when you're ready for the answer. Okay, so first we need to count the dots. We have one, two, plus five. So two plus five equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which number sentence did you circle? If you circle two plus five equals seven, you're right. Do you remember when I had my gallon, my measuring cup and my water bottle? Do you remember which one I said held the least or the smallest amount? My measuring cup. The instructions say to number the containers from least to greatest. That means we're going to put a one next to the smallest. So let's put a one next to our measuring cup. Then what holds the middle amount? The next biggest amount. The water bottle. So let's put out two next to the water bottle. And what holds the greatest or the most amount of water? The gallon. So we're gonna put the number three. All right, that's it for today, kindergarten. Good job, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.